Neil Battaglia, Neilian.com. So the square root symbol means that you find the number that when you multiply it by itself, when you square it, gives you the thing that's within the square root sign. So the square root of four is two. Two times two is four. The square root of nine is three. Three times three is nine. Things change a little bit when you're trying to find the square root of a negative number, but it turns out it's actually not too complicated to find. It basically starts with the term in gray, the square root of negative one. It ends up that we call that the letter I, which stands for the imaginary number. So basically, when we're taking the square root of negative one, we want to get the thing that when we square it, gives us a negative one. Usually, if you square a positive number, you get a positive number. If you square a negative number, you also get a positive number. So we need something kind of different to square it and get a negative number. So one squared is one, negative one squared is also one. So we're gonna say that the square root of negative one is equal to i. i stands for the imaginary number. And i squared is equal to negative one. So if you see something like the square root of negative two, similarly to the process for finding the square root of some other number that's positive, you can factor the negative two. And you can factor it into the square root of negative one times two. And you can separate that out into the square root of negative one times the square root of two. We saw earlier that we're calling the square root of negative one the letter i, so this becomes i times root two, or root two i. If we have the square root of negative nine, we do something similar. We factor it as negative one in a square root times the square root of nine. And that gives us three times i. Now three squared is equal to nine, but negative three squared is also equal to nine. You wanna keep that in mind sometimes, it ends up being important. But if we say the square root, we're talking about the singular square root. So the square root of nine is three, if we're talking about just the one thing. So to recap, the process for finding the square root of negative numbers is similar to the process of finding the square root of positive numbers. A lot of times it's useful to factor them, and with negative numbers, you almost have to factor them to get that square root of negative one into the letter i. I have another video about how to factor the number 196 when it's within the square root, and you can check that out if you want. Let me know if you have questions about this video, and let me know if it was helpful.